Well, hello, Miley. I just wanted to record a little video on my walk here. As you can see, the sunset behind me silhouettes me. Ha! Uh, well, uh, yeah, look at it. it. Even gives me a little, nice little orange tone. Check this out. Wait. Can you see it? I mean, check that out. That's a sunset to be reckoned with right there. Huh. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that mountain silhouetted romantic as hell sunset right there. Oh. That is bad ass. Now. As you can tell, I'm on a dirt road out in the middle of nowhere. And I am thinking about you, as I am always. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot to say. Uh, I said a lot already on my social media, okay? I said a hell of a lot. I said a hell of a lot in my social media. Um, and I meant every word, okay? I'm very much in love with you. I don't know how to describe. I don't think there's words in the English or any other language that describes how I feel. My chest, my chest is beaming, okay? My chest beams, okay? I get this very high energy, woo-hoo, beaming sort of thing. And no, it's not some bipolar thing. Ha <laughs> uh, ha, yeah. Most psychologists would say, yeah, that's that's a sign of bipolar. That's mania. No, it only happens when I am thinking about you. Okay? I can't describe how I feel about you. Um, I just want you to know, I'm going to say that a lot because I have a lot of shit that I need to say to you. Okay? I have a lot of stuff that, that needs to come out and I, I, I want to get a chance to say to you uh, without the excitement of greeting each other and stuff like that. I know that you gave me your, your home address I sent you a letter. I hope that's okay with you and it's not blocked like your last one was. Uh, I sent you a letter. Maybe you can um, ask the post office to uh, hold your mail that gets sent to that address or forward it to wherever you get your mail. Post office box, most likely. Um... I just want you to, to do that for me, okay? Um, I'm just going to sit down here on this nice little dirt berm. Ah, let's see. Find a good spot. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, man. It's beautiful out here. Look at that. Look at the clouds. Look at all that stuff out there. It's beautiful out here. Desolate. However beautiful, no matter what desolate means. <laughs> oh, you're going to like this view. Look at that. Mount Blanca. Check that out. Yeah, I live about two miles from that right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want to be like that scene in... Uh, uh, what was that one where, uh, Elizabeth Hurley was in it and, uh, uh, she played the devil. I can't think of her. I can't think of that one. Um, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> I don't want to have a sunset scene like that one and go, Oh my God, it's the sunset making me cry. <laughs> you know, but I do feel that way though. I do feel that way. I cannot wait to come to your gate dressed in my leather coat and 
my jeans and my black shoes and my black glasses and come up to you and give you a hug and a kiss and then you know I want to do that you know those are the things I want to do it's going to be like I got to get over the newness of it you know the euphoria and the uh, honeymoon era I want to get past that in fact I'd like to be able to deal with that before it even gets to that point you know Um, we love each other we feel each other's feelings we feel each other's feelings from way over I mean I'm way over here and you're over there and what are we gonna do you know we, we feel each other and how we feel I, don't, I can't explain it any better than that it's like you are missing me and you're thinking about me 24 7 and I'm thinking about you 24 7 my ears ring a lot. That's probably not because of the lack of riboflavin either. <laughs> it's because you're thinking about me. And I've had a couple of people, you know, I've had this ear, which is my left. I've had that ear ring a couple of times. And then this ear rings. When this ear rings, then I know it's you. I know it's you. Okay, I know it's you. Now, I've been thinking about putting together some duets. Stuff that hasn't happened yet that's going to be a monstrous hit. You know, um, I was able to bring together all the feuding parties. Okay, Lady Gaga and and, uh, Madonna. Okay, I got them two together. I had a conversation with her too. And, of course, she's mad at me still because uh, I got her in trouble. Well, I didn't get in her in trouble. What she said got her in trouble. <laughs> she can't blame me. But I still love her. I do. I love Madonna. I'd, I'd walk up to her and give her a giant old hug. I would. That's how I am. It's the way I operate. I want the world to see more love and feel more love. And get more respect because of that hug. And it's not, I'm not trying to get the respect. It just, that comes with the territory. It's neither here nor there. It's the fact that I'm showing other people love and respect by giving them hug. I'm acknowledging that they are human beings. Okay? And not everybody wants a hug. Sure. I get it. For those people, I won't. I'll shake their hand. Okay? I'm going to brighten this up a little. Now, when when I when I know that you're crying and you get you sleep with the light on and you're missing me, why in hell are you are you not calling me and leaving a message with a phone number that I can call you back on? And yes, I know you're worried about your phone number getting out and stuff like that. Girl, you don't have to worry about that. Nobody checks my phone. I keep this thing close to me at all times. And if when it stops working, all I got to do is step on the damn thing and throw it across the room. That's what I do. I take it out somewhere or I throw it, throw it somewhere because it's junk. I mean, that's what happened to my last phone. Thanks to Facebook and their stupid update and a... You know, a couple days before that, a uh, Google update happened. And the next thing you know, my phone crashes. They want to fill my phone all the way up till it's full. And then they don't give a damn. Say, oh, go get another phone. Why don't you buy it for me, you little pricks? (laughs) You know? I'm tired of buying these cheap-ass phones. If they they don't want us to have cheap-ass phones, then why do they sell them? That makes no damn sense. You know, it's backwards logic. So, something's got to give. If we got a small phone, they can't fill the phone up. They cannot, they shall not, and will not fill the phone up till it crashes. They have to leave a certain amount for virtual memory. Uh, the chip, the op- operating system on it, has to be used, 
has to use the the memory chip in to like a hard drive. It needs to use it. It needs to allocate a certain amount of that chip to to run applications and other stuff. So they're filling all that space up too. They don't give a damn. See, and that's what I'm pissed off at. So I'm going to solve that issue by wiping all my phones and putting Linux Red Hat on it because it's small enough to, to run it. And I just got to add a couple applications to it. I had to get some developers involved and some application developers and, hire, you know, split the cost with them, I guess. I'll figure that out. But I'm going to create one. It's a Linux phone. And I'm going to I'm going to have a database of I'm going to have to get some Android code and let the Android apps run on on the uh, Linux operating system and the Windows ones and all them. So we're going to make it like that. Anyway, I just I wanted to say something to you. It's very important. I love you. Absolutely. I haven't given up. And I am the luckiest man. I don't, I don't know luck is neither here nor there. For the lack of better words. I am, I am the most fortunate man on this planet. To have 12. 12. Whole songs. Sung about me and to me. By two. Not one, two top artists. And, and don't forget, I know I haven't forgotten about you, Tyrese. I did a collaboration with Tyrese. Okay, that's 13 songs right there. Come on, that's like an album and a bonus song. Dang! (laughs) That's interesting, isn't it? Just think about that. Not anybody on the planet's had that done for them. And so I'm showing my appreciation. Okay? All those deeds have not gone unnoticed. I feel so grateful about every single one of those things being made for me. And you guys really don't have any idea how I feel about that. I... I am grateful. I am grateful. So, and if you're ever wondering, oh, I want to show you this before it gets too dark. I have this uh, wonderful, wonderful, uh, I think it's like a hundred and something lumens, 110 lumens or 130 lumens or 113 or something like that. It's a very bright halogen light. Watch. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, I don't dare shine it on the camera too much because it'll ruin the, the the eye. But I just wanted you to, to see that. It's pretty bright. I mean, it's I can see all kinds of stuff with it. And it has a battery meter. And this thing is bright. I mean, and it's got a USB cable that I can just plug right in and charge it. So, yeah, that's the nice part. I can take it everywhere. It's like a flashlight. It's a headlight. It's kind of like, you know, it looks like it looks like me, kind of. It looks like me. It has. It's taken on this atom-like shape. <laughs> so, uh... I just wanted you to see where I'm living at, you know? This is a a road less walked, okay? Not many people walk these roads, made for mainly driving. So, I'm probably one of the few people that's walking them. Because I like getting out here, spending time out in nature, and out in the middle of nowhere. The Highway 160 is right over here. Um... So, yeah, Highway 160 is right there. I can walk along that. Um, and there's plenty of dirt roads. This, that, that, that dirt road right there, 
it goes all the way, it'll go all the way into Blanca, the back way. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to, I could walk the five miles or so that it takes to go to Blanca. Uh, it would take me, I don't know, two and a half, two, two point three 2.3 miles an hour. Yeah, probably 2.5. It would take me two hours. Two and, a half, two and a half hours, two hours, 15 minutes to get there by foot. So, yeah, that's pretty far. And then I have the five miles to walk back. So that means that I have a 10-mile hike, literally. So I'm putting some mileage on these shoes, aren't I? <laughs> and, yeah, I'd probably do the same thing, you know. i I probably do the same thing. i do the same thing over there in... in Franklin, Tennessee, I'd do that. I'd walk. There's plenty of places to go. And even if the paparazzi follow me, I'll give them a sound bite. I'll stop and talk to them. And I won't divulge anything about you, of course. I'm only going to relate to me. All right? Anything that relates to me, then I'll answer the question. I'll say, if it relates to, I'll tell them. If it relates to me, I'll answer your question. If it doesn't relate to me and it's about Miley, then I'm not answering your question because she's not here. That's how I'm going to say it to him. I'm prepared. I'm ready to deal with the paparazzi. I'm ready to deal with TMZ. I'm ready. Okay? It's going to be, it's going to be like that, and I realize that. So, you know, even if I'm out shopping, everybody's going to say, hey... You're that dude that lives with Miley. I'm going to say, yeah, I am. Hi, hi, nice to meet you. You know, and give them the benefit of the doubt at first. And then, if they get all weird on me, uh, you know, that's when I say, well, I got to go. Talk to you later. Nice meeting you. And then just cut it off. You know, <laughs> I can always walk away. If they try to stop me, I'll say, look, you're impeding my path. I need to get some stuff done here. I need to get this done. Please move. And I'll give them that warning, and then I'm just going to play, you know, that game where if it's just one guy or person, I'll just kind of do that little fake left and go right, or, or fake right, go left, and then fake fake left and go right. You know, I'll do that number until I got around him. <laughs> That's how it is. Anyway. It's almost 20 minutes here that I'm making this video. I haven't said a lot. Except for I love you. And that is probably the most important thing. Uh, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? How far we've come. How deep our love runs. You know, I tremble. I am, I tremble when I'm thinking about you and I'm, you know, tweeting about you and talking to you online. I tremble because you know why? I can't be around you. How Tina Rothschild, how Tina de Rothschild thinks about Pindar, that's how I feel about you. And yes, I want you to be my princess, my Saudi Arabian princess. I do. I am my father's son. I am. He doesn't have to know it, and he can deny it all he wants. DNA will not change, and it will not lie. People do, and they also deny, deny stuff. DNA does not. So once I once I am able to establish that and put it on paper and make it widely known, I'm going to establish my, I'll have citizenship. I won't have to apply for it because it's automatic. All right? Now, once that happens, I'm also a prince. All right? Because I am, again, my father's son. So that means that I'm going to have to wear the deal. And... I'm going to be the best prince that I can be. 
And I don't want to be the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Sorry, Will Smith. <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> so. Yeah. I know. I got to do something about this. I, I, br I don't brush with the toothpaste. I don't do that. I brush with uh, baking soda. And so I smoke a lot. So the filter stuff gets back on my teeth. They turn white and then they get yellow. And they get white and yellow, white and yellow. I can't do anything about it. So until I stop smoking. So, well, fuck it. It's not all about that anyway. You know, that's all just crap anyway. It's just that, you know, I'm going to love you. No matter what, Miley. I'm going to care about you. Like I said, I am going to do things like when you get out of the shower, I'm going to wrap the towel around you, especially in the dressing room. I want to be able to do stuff like that. I mean, I'm going to just lay out your clothes for you. You just tell me what you want to wear. And if I know what the, the outfit is, I'll go, okay, let me lay it out for you. And, and then I'll get it all taken off the hangers and I'll hand you your blouse and pants and whatever else that you're wearing i'll put it all out there i'll get it out yeah and since you're you are an abdl if you want me to change you i will that ain't the problem i'm not against it i just i'm not one of them you know so i just wanted i mean i run that group because i know why these people are like that it has to do with repression and rebellion and, and you know, feeling, you know, controlled. It's, it's, a, it's a psychological side effect of being overly controlled. Yeah. That's what a fetish comes from. And Brittany's got quite a few. <laughs> I won't even mention them for, for respect out of her, you know, out of respect for her. So... Anyway, I uh, wanted to make this for you, and then I'm going to upload it to YouTube, and then I'm going to throw the link at you, and uh, I'm going to play a couple of my songs and give you sneak peeks tomorrow. I'm going to film some of it from my computer, and I'm going to set it up so that, you know, it's going to be weak sound, but uh, it'll be a video, and you guys can hear the little sneak peeks of it, and you guys will hear... Some of the stuff I've done and and the album that's coming out. Hopefully tomorrow, my stupid part will come. Will come. My Wi-Fi card will come, and then I'll be able to release that, release this shit to the public. Otherwise, I'm going to the library and I'm just going to sign on using that and just go to create a page and upload everything to that page in my new album, and you know. That's how I'm going to have to do it. Uh, because it seems like the stupid idiots at Dell. Dude, I got a Dell. Ugh, too bad I got a Dell. Ha! Huh? They can't find this very remote location. It's off the highway. I mean, and it's like a good quarter mile to a mile back in there. So, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, if you can see that. Over that way somewhere, over there somewhere, you can see the little buildings in the background, maybe, maybe not. Those on the prairie, okay, that's where I live, basically. There's a house over here in the corner, down the road here at the corner. That, I live next to that right now, Okay. So, anyway, I live in a garage with my cat. She's kind of sickly. She, uh, the, the vet here screwed up on, on their, on her shots. And I don't know what happened, but she wasn't like that when they, before they, the, the vet got hold of her. So I, I found out who it was. I'm not taking them, I'm not taking her to any of these vets out here. They're too inept and they don't know what they're doing. Okay, so I'm going to wait until I get there and then I'm going to find out what the vets over there will cost 
and see if they'll bring the shot. You know, when when you come when the, when the vet comes to, you know, do your your animals or take care of your animals, then I'll just re- have have you request all the shots, and then uh, I'll pay for the shots. I don't know how much that it's going to be. It's like maybe a hundred dollars a shot or something like that. I don't know if I can afford that. You know, so I'll have to do it one at a, one shot at a time. Uh, or, uh, I don't know, I'll figure it out. We'll all figure it out. But I'm going to keep doing what I do. Alright? I promise you. I'm going to take care of you. I love you very much, Miley. I love you very much. And I wish I was there right now. I wish I was there right now. Just to give you a hug and hold you. Put this chin on your shoulder. I wish I was there. To draw you up on on my lap. To hug you. To kiss you. And to love you as intensely and as well as I possibly can. I mean it. I'm genuine. I'm very appreciative, and you don't even know how grateful, for each of those songs. Okay? My love is real. And it's very strong. You know that our feelings are going to be like an orgasm just looking at each other. <laughs> you know? So. I just, I want you to, to, to know this, okay? I want you to know that I love you and I care about you. And that. Let me see if I can get this light right. There, it's kind of better. Not much. I just want you to know that I love you. And that I care about you. And that... You're very important to me. And you always have been and you always will be. Okay? Oh, look. I look real devilish. Ooh... Like I have these weird glasses on. Little butterfly style glasses. And my face is all scrunched up. <laughs> Don't even look like me. Ooh, how light can change you. Oh, and look. Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> that's wicked. Whoa. Let me see what it looks like on this side. Oh, a psychopath. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Anyway, I just, <laughs> I, I just want to be around you. I want to spend the time with you. And I want to, I want to be with you. I want every opportunity to love you. And I want to care about you. And I think we're going to make beautiful music together. Okay. All right. And yeah, I'm a little bit older. So what? Older's wiser. And I, I can teach you things. Okay? I've got things about me that not many other people have. Very unique. and Probably the brightest. See, look. I'm looking into the light. Oh. <laughs> uh, and, and, and this is a rather bright light. Wrong light, though. <sighs> I am. I've got light. I am part of that light. I am a, a major part of that light. I shine very brightly. Okay? And I'm not saying this from ego. I'm saying this from the truth. I shadow a lot of people in in contrast. Okay? People don't realize 
their true power. They don't realize their, their true potential. I have realized some of my potential. I'm going to leave a legacy behind me. My legacy is you and your legacy. And you are going to leave the same of your father and your mother and your family. So we're all in our loop together because everything that we do is intertwined. It affects everybody. And so knowing that, I must do everything I can to preserve the legacy. That's where I'm at. I do everything every day to make that legacy, to build the legacy. I love you, and that's not going to change. Okay, I'll say it every day, four times a day. And I want to be able to call you. I'm serious. I want to call you, if you let me, twice a day. All right? Once, sometime after you wake up, any time after that. And the other time, right before you go to bed. Okay? Until at least I get there. And hell, I may even do it while, we're, while you're there, just to mess with you. <laughs> you know? Say, good night, honey. You know, while you're laying in bed. Good night, honey. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of stuff I do, you know. We're going to be, I'm going to be like Captain Picard, all right. It's going to be weird, all right. It's going to be weird, but weird just, oh, I can't, I can't get over it. I, I, I'm stumped for words, Okay. That doesn't happen to me very often. When I am able to think and sit there by myself, I got the words flowing, I got my thoughts flowing, and, and things are just working out, you know, inspired. So, here it is, 32 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> anyway, just a little note to tell you I love you. I know, 32 minutes of I love you and describing where I'm at. I'm going to try to take care of all your questions. If you have any questions, if there's anything you want to ask me, please feel free to ask. Just to, And you're going to say the same. So let's do that. Let's get to it. Push yourself. Okay? Get your number on my phone. You got my number, right? You got my number. Okay, so how come I can't have your number? <laughs> I'm going to need your number. Okay, all right. I love you. <laughs>